Hello everybody, Bad Weather Freak here with another video. Um, actually giving you guys a quick update. Today, July 6, 2023, at roughly around 11 a.m., the Colorado State University released their uh, forecast, updated forecast for the amount of storms and ACE values expected uh, that they're thinking that is we, we are going to see potentially. So I'm going to show you those numbers in a, in a brief moment. You guys can see the difference in how, uh, you know, every every update has been going up. The initial one was in April. They were calling for a uh, uh, somewhat of a less busier season, like about normal or under normal. Then they kind of revised their forecast in June. And June, I think it was June 1st, they bumped up the amount of storms that we were going to get or not going to get, but potentially form. And then today, they did bump it up even more. Um, so it seems like that has been the continuous trend. And I'm going to show you guys why. Uh, what you guys are seeing now, you guys, I've shown this before many times, but this is the uh, surface anomaly uh, on the CDAS Nino 3.4. Um, as you guys can see, let me kind of, you know, uh, this is basically where it is right now. Um, it has been kind of bumping drops bump drops so we'll see what is going to continue to happen but this area that you or the bottom chart that you guys are seeing is basically this right here this section where that very warm water is ha is, uh, is located right now yes it is deeper reds than the atlantic but in general um it's it's um uh, it's going to be a battle let's put it that way it's going to be a battle uh, regarding which which uh, side of the ocean is going to produce more storms, whether it's going to be the Pacific or the Atlantic. But let's take a look at the um, satellite imagery. <clears throat> um, so far, you guys know that they have been three named storms in the Atlantic and a couple hurricanes in the Pacific. There were hurricanes very briefly, but vigorous um, wave coming off the coast of Africa. Um, you know, tons of precipitation happening in the pacific as well i mean you can see a large area of just thunderstorms uh same thing in the um, um east of the bay of campeche next to the yucatan peninsula another spot here so you guys see in the caribbean um caribbean islands colombia all that area down here you guys are probably seeing a lot of uh precipitation as well and um, that's what's happening right now with uh, precipitation. Let's take a look at the forecast models. So uh, last time I checked, there was nothing happening. But let's see, because, you know, they update frequently. GFS showing a low pressure system down here. A uh, little bit of uh, precipitation there as well. Let's take a look at the uh, European model. European Again, showing another low pressure system here. It could be the same one that you guys saw on the GFS. Um, so, you know, it's one of the things we need to keep an eye on and see if, if the models keep developing it or not. Because here you can kind of see that the um, Canadian model doesn't really show a whole lot regarding that low pressure system. Uh, but it's one of those things we got to take a look at. And, and once you start seeing agreement in the models, you guys know that we need to keep an eye on. Now, let's take a look at the seasonal, well, sea surface temperatures, because this is very, very important. I love this chart, and I like to show it to you guys because you can see how, um, again, how deep reds you guys see there. But the majority of the Atlantic, I mean, we can kind of say everything here potentially can sustain tropical development, especially in the main development region area, which is which is more like, I mean, it's more like this. Let me kind of draw that, but it's more like that. You guys can see it's red. I mean, it's, it's um, and it's getting deeper every up, every update. This updates every day. It keeps getting warmer and warmer and warmer, which is not good. Um, let's take, let me show you the new forecast. Um, Colorado State University for 2023, they bumped up the name of storms to 18. Nine hurricanes, four major hurricanes, with an ACE value of 160. And on the on the right side, you guys see the average. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind is closest, um, the closest areas, or not areas, I should say, closest years that we have similar activity 
was uh, 2010. 2010 was a very very busy hurricane season, but thankfully it didn't affect a whole lot of people. Um, we just got to keep an eye on and see if we are going to see potentially another year like that. But um, this year, sea surface temperatures are definitely much warmer than 2010, indicating that, I mean, we may actually see even more storms. I mean, we'll see. But right now, that's the latest update of the Colorado State University. August 1st, it updates, or not August 1st, but the first week of August, it updates again. Um, so we'll see if they continue that trend of increasing the amount of storms that we may potentially see. But that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, comment in the comment section below. I like talking about weather, so I enjoy uh, talking to, guys, to, to each other, uh, to you guys about weather. So thank you guys. Have a good day.